Well, we're almost there. <laughs> Carlton, relax. This is the line for class registration, not the Nixon Library. <laughs> oh, well, I almost forgot. I took the liberty of jotting out a few courses you might be interested in. Thank you, Carlton, but I already have my academic priorities in order. Wow, Will, I'm proud of you. You've finally taken your education seriously. Can I help you? Yes, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down and i'd like to take a minute and just sit right there i'll tell you how i became the prince of a town called bel-air in west philadelphia born and raised on the playground is where i spent most of my days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it, yo, home's the Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo, home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Will, do you realize we stopped and talked to every woman we saw? So? We were on the freeway. <laughs> Why do you do these crazy things? It's the same reason Eddie Murphy tries to sing. I like the challenge. <laughs> right. Well, if you like to be challenged so much, how come you register for classes like cheese appreciation? <laughs> Carlton, the challenge is to make your life as easy as possible. Mm, that's why God made canned meat. Spam cakes, hey, anyone? <laughs> <sighs> Morning. Hey, Uncle Phil. Mmm, Jeffrey, something sure smells good. Oh, patchouli. Sweet of you to notice. <laughs> so, how was registration today, guys? Oh, yo, it was slamming, Uncle Phil. Mmm. He met a girl, right? <laughs> you got it, big guy. <laughs> and he joined classes just because she's in it. He doesn't even know what he's taking. I do, too. <laughs> Name it. <laughs> Western pornography. <laughs> 